guys, I am so grieved right now, and I cannot <clears throat> go to bed tonight without addressing this. Lisa Boyce just said that, and she said it several times, and she said you could argue with her till you're blue in the face, she ain't gonna listen. That there is no such thing as a gay Christian. So I guess she thinks that she doesn't have any sin and that believing the gospel isn't enough. You also have to change your lifestyle and turn from your sins. She's double-minded and talking out both sides of her mouth. On the one side, she says, grace, grace, grace. And on the other side, she says, you have to stop sinning or you're not saved. It was just um, a message of confusion. Now, I know that her video was supposed to mainly be about a, uh, I think it was a lesbian Christian artist that has like a number one song or something. And I, I'm not going to address that. I know nothing about that. I don't know the, the person or their music, but she just said several times, she said, I'll say it again. There is no such thing as a gay Christian. You know, the Bible says if you say you, you have no sin, you know, you're a liar. And I'm just sickened, absolutely sickened. And, you know, someone left a comment on there that their grandson had taken his life at the age of 22 and he was a believer because he was so ashamed of, you know, that urge or that sin that he just took his life. And I imagine somebody like Lisa, the so-called Christian that spoke that false gospel crap to him and took his hope away. I mean, it just, oh, I'm so grieved. I'm so grieved about this right now, guys. Sickening. We are all sinners in need of a savior. How dare somebody go out there with a self-righteous religious spirit and tell other people that they're not saved or they can't be saved as if they somehow deserve the grace of God. We all deserve to death, but for the grace of God, and for, but for the blood of Jesus and his free gift of eternal salvation. All right, I love you guys. Please pray that she sees the light and because that, she probably hurt so many people with that message.